Hey friend, okay, so glad you are here because I need your help. Yes, I came to you before, you helped me out, and I'm coming back to you again because last time you were on point, all right? So I went to Chanel and I got an item. Okay, I got two items of the same thing and I cannot decide which one I should keep. So just stay tuned so I can show you what I got and you can help me out. Hi, and welcome to my channel, Simply Fabulux. I'm Tatiana, and I like to talk about luxury goods, items, a little bit of lifestyle, and I try to sprinkle in a bit of tips or advice that I've learned to share with you. Okay, so for today's video, it's just a little bit different, it's short, it's sweet, and I came to you before about helping me decide on an item and I need your help again because I went to Chanel and I bought some shoes. Yes, I bought some shoes, but I could not decide on which shoes to keep. I got the same pair of shoes I just bought at home. I was in the store for like way too long, longer than I needed to be, asking literally everybody who came around and I'm like thinking, these are not my, they're not my friend, my friends. They're not my family. You're my friend. You're my family. So I should ask you. So I, what I did, I bought both of the shoes, bought them home, thought I'd ask you so you could help me decide so that I can take the one that I don't need back to the store. So that's what we're doing today. But oh, before we get into this, and I really kind of know you already did this, but just, just in case, Hey, you haven't already yet. I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and please like this video. Yes, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to this channel, and then hit that notification bell so you can be informed when I drop a new video because I drop a new video every week. All right, now once you've done that, now once you've done that, <laughs> all right, let's get into today's video. Okay, so before I get into the shoes that I wanted to show you, because I got two pairs of shoes that I need your help on, I wanted to show you a little something something that I got from my essay, which she was so kind, from Chanel. And so she sent me this beautiful, let me just open it for you so you can see. So yeah, it came in, came in like a nice little sturdy package with like a little heartfelt note for my SA. So the note, I'm not gonna read it out loud because it was a little personal, but just, just basically, you know, thank you. So let's open this up. It's a little box. Oh, show you, it says Chanel on the box. It's in white and like, this is like gold Chanel. All right, let's open it up. Okay, and it is, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, look at this, oh my gosh, okay, let's see, I saw the note, and I'm like, wait, I should unbox this with you guys, so let me, what is this, hold on, it didn't say in the note what it was, it just says she gave me a little something, something, because we were talking, Ooh, it's a cute little book. Is it a coffee table book? I don't think so. So it has like a lion in the front here of the book. Cute. And then on the back it has Chanel. Okay. Nice. Nothing on the binder. I'm getting notebook vibes. So I'm thinking it's like a notebook. Cool, could we did talk about me writing? Okay. Let me take this off. Yeah, this has to be a notebook. Oh yes it is, okay. So this is like the front inside cover. It has that detail, that design. Hopefully you can see that. Oh, it is a journal. Okay, so it says this journal belongs to, hopefully you can see where it says that. And then you just put your name, your name there. Ooh, for Chanel, time is a story of moments, an encounter with destiny to be seized or provoked. With this journal, make a date with your desires, note your aspirations and write your future. It's not time that counts, it's what you do with it. I know that's right. 
But yeah, that was inside of the book. Oh my gosh. Love it. Oh, I love a good journal with jewelry creation. So I have like a little page about the fine jewelry and stuff. Cause I did get some jewelry from Chanel and I got it from the Comet collection. So that's what this first one is. Um, and you know, I love hearts and stars as patterns. If you don't know, now you know. So I love this. Oh, this is so cute. This is shows to see again, it's just more like stars in here. Just showing you that. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, so you can put like films that you want to watch or rewatch. Now, if you see my like girl chit chat video, I talked about all the films that I wanted to watch or that I've watched. But yeah, this would go perfect in here. That will definitely go in here. I talked about all like my favorite movies that like featured great fashion or incorporated great fashion in it. Would have been great for this book. I think like books like this, you should actually use them. Cause I know back in the day I'd get like cute journals. <laughs> I wouldn't want to write in them cause they were so pretty. But like now that I'm older, when I get nice journals, I like to write in them. Like that's the whole point of a, of a journal is to write. And then like I do have journals from like when I was younger that I like look back on and read. It's just to see how far you've grown, like from what you like aspired or you kind of envisioned your life, what were you doing in your life currently, you know, who your friends were, maybe what your favorite song or favorite TV show was. I love, you know, going back on that. So this is kind of like the same thing where I can put like my movies that I want to watch or rewatch so I can know like at this time this is the movies that I liked, really enjoyed. In the future when I go back and see this <laughs> journal again, I'm like, oh yeah, I did like that movie. Oh, you know? So it has like a little bookmark in here. I'm guessing this is Gabrielle Chanel or somebody, but it has a little bookmark in here. So I guess it's kind of showing you can put like a picture and it has like I said, the little bookmark which is a star again i love stars let me show you that that's what's the picture but like more of this bookmark i love a good bookmark oh my gosh but yeah i'm not if y'all know who this is i'm guessing this is coco chanel herself or is it her sister it has to be somebody maybe it's just a random picture who knows if you know let me know okay because it does not say on the back okay Okay, I'm seeing some more like images. So let's see. It might be the other themes. Oh, okay, yeah. So it's like, oh my gosh. This is so, no, this is so cute. Okay, let me show you what I'm looking at. So it has this little cutout. Let me put this picture to the side. Of the camellia flower in here. Isn't that beautiful? But it's like a cutout. Look at that. How cute. And it says the camellia. So, okay, so there's like sections or like divisions in this journal. Okay. Ooh, now this is a beautiful, I don't know if this is like a necklace, a brooch, but this is nice. It's a picture of like a camellia flower, but like in their jewelry collection. A little section for birthdays. Like you can really use this journal or book to write stuff okay so you can kind of put like the names of like your friends and loved ones in here under each month it has like from january to december i love this the artwork the imagery and then it's just more blank pages again and it has like places for you to visit places to visit you can kind of write that in there get just more blank pages Okay, so kind of like it really just helps you out to like bookmark stuff. And it's like the quilted motif. Oh, so that's what the inside of the thing was. It's like a quilted motif. Ah, oh, I get it, I get it now. Coco Crush Collection. And that's it right there, the Coco Crush Collection, which I want to add to my collection. Oh, and there's like books to read, you can write that down. There are some books that I want to read. I'm not gonna go through all of it. No one wants to know what's all in this book. I mean, if you do, let me know. I can definitely tell you what's in here. I love this. This is so nice and thoughtful that she did this. I, I just came home and yeah, this was here. I guess, you know, Chanel can be hit or miss. I haven't had any bad experiences at Chanel, but I've definitely have 
not only like seen it like on TikTok, explain their experiences at Chanel, how people can be like very rude, very elitist, but that has not been my experience. Like knock on wood, thank you God. That's a little gift that I got. Now let's get into the unboxing of the shoes so you can help me decide which one I should keep, okay? <gasps> oh, okay, yeah, one more thing. <laughs> So I was telling my essay, cause remember I showed y'all my wallet on chain and I liked the length of it, but then I was like, maybe I should get a chain shortener for my bag. So I asked my essay about, you know, getting a chain shortener. And again, it's complimentary when you purchase a bag from Chanel. So she gave me one. So let me just show it to you. So if you ever like, you know, are at Chanel and you need a chain shortener, especially for your wallet on chains or any bag where you can't really adjust it, they have it for you. Well, most of the time they have it. And it's just able to pick one. Oh, well, this one's like um, gold, even though I did say I wanted one white gold or silver because my bag is silver, but it's fine. I think this is on the inside of the bag anyways, but that's what it looks like. The little chain shortener. And there's just like little instructions there to tell you like how I guess to use it on your bag. But isn't that cute? It comes in a little thing like this and then it's there in the back. But yeah, when you ask for it, this is what it looks like when they give it to you. Just FYI. Oh, that was nice of her. I'm telling you, I have a really nice essay. So here is my package. Again, I got two shoes. They're actually boots. It's heavy. Um, yeah, so let's <laughs> let me take it out of this bag and show them to you one by one and then help me decide. So I got both boxes out. I'm gonna open one at a time, but yeah. Again, these are boots. I'll get the name and details. I'll definitely put it on the screen, but I went into the store, saw these boots, and I was just like, ugh. I like them both and I promise you, I, I feel like I asked almost every client advisor or sales advisor that was on the floor about these shoes and I kept getting like a 50-50 split. Some were like, you should get this one. Some were like, you should get this one. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm hoping that you can help me decide which one I should keep. Or maybe, you know, maybe they're just not a good fit at all. But I feel like one of them should work out for me, right? So the size works, the size is great. I'll do like some try on so you can see what it's like on my feet. Just help me out, please. But let me like just open one of these boxes at a time because they actually are heavy. I think the name of these boots are, cause they're like booties, are called Anjanu. Maybe, I'm not sure. Or maybe that's the name of the color. I can give you the style number. I'll put all the details down in the description box. So like the price, the style number that I'm gonna share, and then like the colors that I got, so you can kind of like see what it's, cause there's no name here. I don't know what the name is. If I can find it online, I'll definitely put it on the screen, but if it's not on the screen, that's cause I couldn't find it online, but I'll definitely put, again, the style number. The details will be in the description box below. Let's open the first package. <laughs> this is the first one. So you can take off this beautiful flower. Actually, I'm not taking it off. I'm just gonna take the ribbon off. I don't feel like having to do all this. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Got the ribbon off. I'm gonna take off the box top. It's from the 24B collection. Again, it just, says, it just says boots. There's no name in it. It just says lambskin, patent calfskin, and metal black, short boots. Yeah, no name. So let's open this. And I think it's in, yeah. <laughs> they're in um, their dust bags. Here is the dust bag. Here's one of the boots. All right, so these are the black boots. Here they are. 
in black. Again, their booties has a little bow right there in the front. If you can see that with a little like chain detail, kind of like on the bag. And then right there is where the zipper is. Has a little heel right there. And the little cap toe. Cap toe. Hey, it's a toe that's like black, but it's like patent leather. This is lambskin. All right, so here are boots number one. Okay, so in here you get a little, I guess, care booklet. So, it's how to care for your shoes. That was in a, a, this box. So here's the dust bag. You get you get two, so you get one for each shoe. That's the boot again. A little CC on the toe. That's that smooth bottom that I mentioned one time on my other boots, how I didn't like put anything on it. Like I got something from Amazon so it can protect the sole, give it some grip on it, and then also protect the sole of the shoes. But it's really important because because this is so smooth, this smooth surface on another smooth surface, it will feel like you're ice skating <laughs> on the floor and you will slip and you can fall and hurt yourself. So I try to be very cautious by adding those little protectors, sole protectors that I got from Amazon. All right, so here is box number two of the shoes. Again, same style, different color. So, so let me show you the color that I got of these shoes. Take off the ribbon. Taking off the ribbon. And again, you get a little booklet that comes in the box. Right there. It's just like care instructions. Normally that's what it is. Have to care for your leather boots. Here they are. And you put these other boots to the side. And again, they're in like their dust bag. So let me get it out. Ooh. I think I like these the most. I don't know, you you let me know, but I, I really think I like these the most. It's just keeping it clean. And it is the white pair of boots. I like how it has the black, you know, toe cap, I forgot what it's called officially at Chanel, but I like that. And in the back has a little, you know, the black, small chunky heel. But yeah, the details are the same. It has that chain detail right there. It still has the bow with the little CC on it. And it's just in white and that's the zipper detail. white and gold compare it to the black ones so you can see so yeah i need help deciding which one to keep because i already have a pair of black chanel boots like not this exact style or anything, but I have a pair of black boots. I have like a, let's be real, I have a lot of pair of black boots. I think I even showed recently my new pair of black Dior boots. So black is like a very common color in my boots. I have a black pair, I think I have a gray pair. I do not have a white pair, but I mean, there's probably a reason why I don't have a white pair because white gets so dirty, but they're so cute. So let me try these, I'm gonna try these on first because what I would want to wear is kind of like what I have on now. I have like a cute little tweed jacket and some tweed shorts and I would wear this probably with it. So let me try it on so you can see what it looks like. Before I do that, let me get out the other shoe so you can see what both of these look like. <laughs> Here 
Here we go. I feel like you can see the creases even more easily in the white pair a little bit. I mean, it's got a crease, it's leather, it is like that soft leather too, because it's like, I think, lamb skin or calf skin. I think it's a mix of lamb skin on some parts, some are calf skin, and then the patent leather. So I'm guessing this part is the lamb skin because it's very soft. That's the two shoes together. I really like these. This is so difficult. Okay, now let's try on the boots. I have put on some leggings <laughs> with the black boots just to see what they look like. Here are the white shoes with the black patent toes. And I'm wearing them with some shorts. I don't know. Like the booties with the shorts, I don't know. <gasps> I'm thinking like no. All right, so I tried it on and now <laughs> the question is here, which one should I keep? I'm not keeping both, okay? I only want to keep one pair of these shoes. Should it be pair one, the black boots or booties or pair two, the white booties? I think I mentioned I have a pair of black boots by Chanel. I have a ton of black boots, but I don't really have a pair of white boots. That's because, I mean, white gets so dirty easily and I think I'm always scared to wear white their shoes. They're gonna get dirty. And you know, once you see that they're getting a little scuffed, you can just wipe it off so I can keep them clean. I guess I'm not too, too scared. I just want them to look super filthy, but that's not really me anyways. That's the only hesitation that I have. And then the other one about this is that I have a ton of black boots. So yes, help me decide. Leave your comment down below. Which one do you think I should keep? Black pair, white pair, boots number one, boots number two. Let me know. Or maybe none of these boots. Maybe I should just take them both back. Again, I'm not gonna keep both. I definitely wanna keep one pair, but you know, maybe I should just not keep any of the pairs. I don't know. I'm really trying to decide. If you can help me, I would so much appreciate it. Leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. These are like the last size of these shoes in the store, I think. Definitely for these, cause I know like I got a size 40. I was like, is there any more white pairs? like? of 40s my essay was like no i think this is like the last pair she kind of looked it up that she could see in the system in the u.s but i just know she was like this is the last that's why i was like well let me just get it so i can take it home to see because i would hate to like get one pair and then be like you know i want to get the white pair and the white pair is already gone so that's why i have both pairs because i couldn't decide in the store i asked everyone like all the essays, a few strangers, and everyone was split. It was like literally a 50-50. Some people were like, you should get the white. Some people were like, no, get the black. You can always wear a black. So I don't know. But again, those are not my friends, my fam. They work there. They're strangers. I mean, my essay, but my essay is even torn as well. So help me out. Leave a comment below. Again, don't forget to like this video hit the subscribe button the notification bell so you can be notified when i drop a new video and i want to say thank you so much for supporting my channel and watching the video to the end if you want to see more videos i'll definitely leave one on the screen or you can go to my channel and you can see 
all the videos I've already done, all right? And then until the next time, I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.